This is a test ride of the 2018 Harley Davidson Street Glide Special. So the Street Glide Special has the 114 cubic inch engine, which is very smooth and beautiful as we know. Plenty of space for storing stuff in the saddlebags. Uh, very comfortable yet upright position. The uh, backrest is quite nice. That really does uh, allow you to relax. I don't like the swept back handlebars, but um, I'm quite tall, so if you're probably six foot or under, I'd say that would be ideal. The screen is great. It actually protects you from the wind very nicely. You just feel the wind on the top of your head. But the uh, handlebar part is very good for uh, keeping the wind off your jacket. This has got the same chassis as the Road King Special, which I just test rode. Um, but in the same way, this falls into the bumps, and it's probably actually because of the low profile tyres, I'm thinking, more than the suspension. It's got a lovely deep sounding Piper standard, which is unusual and it uh, has a nice rumble and a backfire occasionally when you uh, shut off the throttle. I borrowed this bike today from Sycamore Harley-Davidson in Uppingham. Big thanks to them for letting me have a test ride. I think you would go for one of these bikes if you wanted to have a passenger most of the time. Um, the Softail, I've got a Heritage Classic, the Softail I think rides nicer, it hits the bumps better, it handles better. This um, isn't such a nimble bike and also f it feels shorter and I think the wheelbase may actually be slightly shorter on these, although the overall length is longer. I'm going to check on that though, but it does feel quite a compact bike when you're riding it, although it doesn't look it from the outside. At speed this is uh, stable and very easy to ride bike, you can cruise along all day at 70 miles an hour. It's actually quite nimble too around town and at lower speeds which is great. saddlebags which are fabulous. I know youngsters don't like them but when you've got stuff to carry it's fantastic. Uh, very comfortable, it's got a loud stereo, I don't know what else it does to be honest. I'm sure if you're going to buy one of these you can look all that up. Um, the purpose of today is to see what it really feels like to ride and uh, I'd say on the whole uh, a nice bike to ride. Um, I've got a Heritage Classic and I feel the Heritage Classic is slightly more stable and handles the corners better so for me the Heritage Classic is the better bike um, but I think if you want something to carry people on the back a lot of the time this is probably more the way to go. Street Glide Special, just looking at the uh, brochure here, is uh, a bit more expensive than the Road King Special. It's uh, £22,495 in the UK. I guess the difference will be similar in other countries. Um, and you get obviously the infotainment, the screen, and all that sort of stuff on it. So, uh, on a touring bike, I think you do need a screen really. The wheelbase on the Road King and uh, street glide is 1625 millimeters and on the heritage it's 1630. 
Another thing to bear in mind perhaps is the Heritage Classic has uh, 155 newton metres of torque, whereas the Street Glide Special and the Road King Special have 163 newton metres of torque, so a little bit more there. So, overall verdict, yeah, lovely bike. Long distances, plenty of luggage space, great for a passenger. This is the bike to buy if you want to go on a journey. So, go down to your Harley Davidson dealer and buy one right now. If you live in England, Sycamore Harley Davidson Uppingham is where I get my bikes from. They're fantastic, so they're very helpful there.